Greetings everyone, Bansaw Crown Music here. This week's tutorial is how to create a riser effect. Okay, let's just jump straight into it and start from scratch. Click on memory and then initialize to get the default sound. Okay, the first thing to do is to change what's on the first oscillator. Okay, I'm actually going to put a sample on the first oscillator. Browse down to samples. And I want uh, pad analog. Okay, let's just choose the first one, silk one. Let's make some minor alterations to the oscillator window. Turn the number of voices in the mix tab up to almost the top. And also the pan as well, a little bit of detune. Um, the rest of the oscillator buttons don't really matter, we're going to fiddle with them a bit later on. Um, but I like to always give it a bit of vibrato, so I'll turn this up a little bit. I'm going to turn the delay off. I'm going to bury the sound somewhat in reverb to stop it getting out of hand. Um, I do this with pads sometimes and with risers, uh, reverb. It's just a very useful tool to constraining the sound sometimes. The rest of the controls um, in the amp window uh, look fine as the default, but I'm going to give it um, a bit of a, a slow attack here. Um, again, very similar to a pad. With a slow attack on a pad, you want a slow attack on a riser so it comes in gently. Okay, for the filter section, I'm going to make some small changes. Um, putting the filter cut off about halfway there and turning the drive, which is the distortion up somewhat almost to the top and leaving the rest the way it is so we, we now have this sound so at the moment it kind of sounds pad-like ok, so now this is the part where we turn the the pad sound into something more like a riser so we just take the first point here we drag it down because we want to start off at a low pitch and move to a higher pitch. And we take the second point here, and I want to drag this out to 12 beats here. It's a bit tricky to get it exactly where you want it, but uh, there you go. So 12 here, that's where we have it, and it levels off there. So this is here um, from a low pitch to a high pitch over the course of 12 beats. Um, now the actual range here, uh, which you can set, is in terms of semitones. So if you wanted to go from a really low octave um, to a much higher octave, you would set it um, up here. That's the maximum range, is 24 semitones there. Um, let's just put it right in the middle, about an octave. Um, oh, no, no, no. Let's, let's go the whole hog. Um, a couple of octaves there. Put it in. So now we have this sound. Okay, so there we have it. So it now sounds more like a riser, doesn't it? The next step is to add some modulation into that sound to make it sound more interesting. There are actually many ways to do this. Uh, for example, you could modulate the, the cutoff filter here. You can modulate the pan, so it can go from left to right in the ear. The vibrato amount. That's quite effective. We're going to try, and actually this time, modulate the the FM, the frequency modulation button here. Okay, so let's modulate the, the FM dial here from 0 to 100% over the course of 12 beats. Now, how do we actually do that? Well, we can create a mod envelope here. This is the default shape. Let's just take this down to 0. Okay, and let's do as we did with the pitch envelope. We're going to go to 100% here, and we're going to drag this out carefully. It gets a bit tricky just to get it exactly on 12 there, 12 beats. 10, 11, 12. You can be very careful. There it is, approximately 12. There. 
doesn't have to be exactly straight on, but it is there now. Okay. So that is the mod um, envelope which we've just created. Um, now we take the six dots here at the left of the mod envelope, click and we drag, and we say we're going to modulate U, FM frequency, and we're going to modulate from 0 to 100% over the course of 12 beats. Okay, and that should do that automatically now. So now you have this sound. Okay, a much more interesting sound. How do we make that even more interesting? We can use the same mod envelope here over the course of 12 beats here. We can modulate another parameter. We modulated the FM already. Um, let's just click and drag and modulate with the same envelope. Let's modulate the vibrato amount here. So you can see now it's zero, okay? We don't want to make that 100%. It's too extreme. Yeah, but we do want to make it... Um, we don't want to experiment. I would say maybe 50% is appropriate. Um, use your own ears to your own taste, but let's hear that right now. Okay, so that's added more interest to the sound. Let's actually do something which is quite popular with risers, and that's to modulate the cutoff amount here. Um, we do that, um, I would say, with an LFO. You can do it by other means, but uh, this LFO method is quite popular. So we have an LFO one here, which is already, which is just to the right side of the mod matrix there. You can see the six dots there. And we can tell it to modulate click and drag up to the cutoff. Okay, so now uh, we have that modulating the cutoff. Now we click and drag this up here and we can see it starts to modulate from side to side there. Um, let's just hear that. As the riser gets near the 12 beat mark, we can actually make the cutoff modulation faster and make it a bit more exciting. We see the modulation rate now is uh, um, a quarter. It is linked in terms of time here. We want to free that up so we've got more flexibility. So we we'll just click this off like this and we can see the cutoff, the rate is um, a little bit faster. Let's just take that down um, all the way down to zero so it's barely moving at all. And let's modulate this rate dial here and um, we can actually well we, we can use many different ideas to do that but let's just for simplicity's sake let's just modulate um, that red button from the same mod envelope here like this and we don't want to go crazy with this it just sounds a bit ridiculous but let's go up to about midway point which is about the 12 point um about 12 there okay so we're starting off zero and we're going to to about 50 percent there so let's in the mod matrix let's make that alteration um lfo rate okay halfway to around about 50 it hasn't going to be exactly on there but uh, just round about okay so now as time increases as we move further towards the 12 beat mark uh, the rate of the LFO, which is controlling the cutoff, it gets faster and faster. Let's hear that. Okay, some other ideas for you in terms of risers, which I've used before in the past. Um, I use the step sequencer often and I uh, modulate this in terms of volume. So the vol mix here, I can modulate from zero to 100%, and that gives a, a very particular sound, which I've used on a few of my presets there. Um, what do I use? You can use any particular one in here. Um, 
I'm just trying to think of the ones that I've used. Classic Gate and One and Two are the ones I recommend and I've used in the past and they've been pretty effective. So I recommend those two. So that's something you can do in the step sequencer there. Modulate that from zero to 100. Again, you could use the same envelope, the same mod env. You can use that. Uh, what else? Well, you could add an effect in the effect rack and also modulate that. So let's try that. Um, my master effects. Um, vintage, yeah, vintage phaser. Let's do that, okay? So you have a, um, a mix button at the left hand side at the bottom here. That's the amount that, to which it's applied. Okay, take it down to zero. Again, come into the mod envelope. Look at the six dots. Click and drag all the way down to the mix. Okay, now in the mod matrix, um, you can hear slot three dry wet, which actually corresponds to the vintage phaser here, um, from zero to 100. Okay, so during the course of 12 beats, it will modulate from zero to 100 in terms of the mix here. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, sounds cool. And don't forget, you're not stuck to just choosing one key on the keyboard. You can actually kick off the envelopes um, with different keys. So let me just turn around to my keyboard here. You can start with the D and then put an octave interval in. That was me there pressing three keys on the keyboard and you can create even more interesting effects um, via that method. Remember also, as I said before, you can change the sound on the oscillator here. You can experiment with different samples. I find samples work pretty good for riser effects, but I would certainly um, recommend you look in the wave table section here. And you'll find some very interesting uh, wavetables here, which you should um, scan through the wave wavetables. So um, here, for example, you want to make sure that this is enabled. This button here is enabled, and that would make sure that you are scanning through the whole wavetable there. Um, I would use ping pong here. The very interesting effect. You can, ex you can experiment um, with all these, uh, with uh, the samples. I would encourage you to do that to create your own unique sound. Okay, I think we'll end it there for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please click on the like button. If you want to be informed of more tutorials in the future, click on subscribe. Cheers.